YouTube, what's up? What's up? It's your boy Big Lunch here back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to the fourth DLC character teaser trailer for Guilty Gear Strive. I got a, a little spoiled by seeing the thumbnail, so I kind of have an idea who it is. I didn't play the uh, the old Guilty Gear games that much, but I think I know who it is. But let's get into it. Oh, new map? Oh, snap. Otomomi Mos. Otomomi Mos. Sotujinagara, Mayfua is Gedoga, whatever Tamigana. Show you need a china sata reba, Madono Shimatsu, Ukewi eat us. Onoreva below no sampin zamurai. Shido, Shinibana, you saw her. There, there she is. Biking us that. In January? Okay. That's tough. That's tough. Late January. Oh my god. That was clean. I feel like I gotta turn subtitles on for that one now. Alright, just seeing this part right here. Already got a saucy ass. Japanese inspired stage it looks like it Looks like they just showed off three lo different locations, right? We first got the we got this bridge area. This looks like the background, right? It's probably not showing probably zoomed in on the background not showing the foreground But we got this area right here with these uh, uh these gates I don't know the names of them, but they they quite literally look like gates and a fucking spear fox flies through one Okay, then we got we got this area which is like on top of a, a hill Showing fucking floating skies. I don't know, let's look at that. Showing like floating uh, pieces of terrain and stuff. Flowers falling, or not flowers, leaves falling. This looks dope. The way that these uh, clouds are arced, that looks sauce. Damn. And this bridge area, again, this looks like it's the background and like down here is where we're actually gonna fight. It's just zoomed in on the background a little bit. Or maybe like, this could all just be like, like the like the intro like cinematic when you first start to fight on the stage maybe I don't know but it, it it looks like these are just like the three different like locations for the stage because you know when you uh when you do a like stage transition you know by holding dust and uh, holding up there's three parts to so every stage right so this this looks like they just showed off the three different parts which is dope uh, I played a lot of fucking I played a lot of Anjimito so you know having like a stage like for like Japanese or or Asian inspired characters like Anji and and uh, Chip uh, is dope. It's how they, they get their little like area. This probably is like where that where they come from. You know what I'm saying? But it's dope. Definitely clean. Definitely clean. Damn, this is crazy. It's a fucking it's a fucking statue, and their head is replaced with a lantern. That's dope. This looks like a grave. Is this a grave site? I don't know. It could be a grave site, but you know, there's these big gates which literally have like portals in them, like cogwheel portals. And then we have this part right here, which kind of like, I guess, shows off the map a little bit more. This is probably like the intro cinematic for the stage right here. Yep. And then it shows the character walking up. Yep. This looks like this is the intro. It's pretty dope. They got they got the girl biking, looking looking right, looking right, looking like a upgraded uh, version of herself. The one arm bandit. That's crazy. She only has a one arm, and she has a skull on that on that like shoulder. Her character design looks dope. I mean, obviously, you know, there's two big reasons why everyone wanted to see this character. If you actually look at how her how she looks and stuff, like she definitely looks traditional. You know, you can see that parts like the her little like eye patch kind of like show off the fact that she uses like gadgets and stuff. Her blade looks dope. She has like, she has like wrapped in a belt. Yeah, you could definitely see like like. She's supposed to be a samurai, but like her, the way I guess the way she plays in older games, she uses a lot of uh, tools like samurai tools and stuff like that. And I guess this 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 kind of helps you like portray that like oh she's you know she's not just super traditional uh, Japanese samurai like she actually uses like different shit, which is dope. Her character looks dope. I'm definitely excited to to see what we talk about. But yeah, crazy. Next Daredevil's biking, coming late January. Oh, I'm excited for that. 
That's gonna be dope. That's gonna be dope. Like, I don't know. I forget how many months we waited between uh, Jacko and and Happy Chaos, but I know uh, they pretty much they, the first two DLC characters they dropped a month a month apart from each other. So like, we got once a month. We got one once a month, and then we have to wait a little bit for Happy Chaos. But that's pretty dope. I don't think we uh, if they if it does come out late January, right? Like like towards the end. I don't think we, we're waiting as long between Happy Chaos and Biking as we were between Jacko and Happy Chaos. So that's dope. And we finally get the new stage. I'm I'm hoping she just drops with the new. I mean, obviously that's probably what they're gonna do. They're gonna drop the character and the new stage. Uh, they promised us two new stages. So that's definitely dope. That's definitely dope. Can't wait. I'm excited. But yeah, it's just a teaser. It's nothing too big. It's only a 58 second video, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get we can get some more information on her soon. But yeah, uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, uh, share the video. Helps the channel grow. Peace.